Hello everyone and welcome back to a another fifth down. Favorite college football recap series. And so we're gonna take a look back on week four as we head on to week five. So let's get into it. Right off this week for our first time we have Wake Forest versus Clemson. The number five Cle Clemson Tigers almost had a very costly upset against Wake Forest. And just both team secondaries were not there. They were not all the way there. But who was there were the quarterbacks. Combined in this game, there were 708 passing yards and 11 combined passing touchdowns. Crazy, 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 crazy. DJ Uyakalele had his best game of the season with 371 passing yards and five passing touchdowns. And then on the other end of the game in the ball we have Sam Hartman who has 337 passing yards and a school record of six touchdowns. Clemson secondary was able to get it done in the end even though both secondaries like I said were struggling if you watch the game. So the Tigers were able to end this game 51 to 45 continuing the 14 game win streak against Wake Forest. For our second down we have Kansas State versus Oklahoma and boy did this game just just showed me all the stuff that I love about sports. Um, Kansas State really did show y'all like don't let your 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 previous loss and whatever you want to call it mistake anything um, define your next battle because you know a lot of people went into this game thinking OU was going to take over. Not to not to knock Kansas State for um, anything or how they've been playing they've been playing amazing but keep in mind just last week they lost to Tulane so people were thinking like mm, the girls not finna finna be in you know what I'm saying they're they're not they're just not going to perform against this ranked Oklahoma um, you know offense and secondary but they said I guess it's gonna be ranked now okay anyway um <laughs> but in many ways the Sooners kind of hurt themselves they had 11 penalties for 87 yards and they had not one not two not three but five false start penalties and they still performed but the wildcats just had more fuel in them and they took home this dub with the big 12 opener 41 to 35. We're waiting to talk about this game the whole week. So for our third down, we have Texas a and versus Arkansas. And just last week, I'm two for two now, I told you guys to watch this game. And this game just had all the emotions you can think of. Like, it was crazy. It was entertaining. It was stressful. It was mind-blowing. It was just everything that I just love about sports, the game of football, everything. So, you know, Arkansas really had, you know, Texas A&M beat in the first quarter, I won't lie. They had two touchdowns and, you know, Texas A&M had none, but, you know, people were telling me, like, where where, where are the Aggies at? I said, y'all hold on. Everyone pause, everybody wait. Just give it a second. And that's when, when it hit the second, when it hit the second quarter, everything went up. So you see Tyreek um, Chappelle, we're gonna get the fumble, but oh no, wait, like I wanna take it to the house. So let me just, <laughs> boop, hand it off to uh, Damani Richardson. Crazy watching on TV. I was like, oh, okay, okay, we got that fumble recovery. Literally after that, like everything was just boxed for Arkansas. They didn't even score till the fourth quarter. Um, So speaking of the fourth, that's when this game came crashing down. Um, on fourth and 13 with a minute and a half left on the clock arkansas's 42 yard field goal hit the top of the upright missing and i don't know why like i don't know this past week every, everyone's ball just been hit the top of the upright anyways missing the kick and giving the aggies a win all right so for our fourth down we have florida versus tennessee and i just want to give it up to the gators they look so much more improved especially richardson he had a career high game for 453 passing yards as well as he completed 24 out of 44 of his pass. Um, there are big offensive plays made on both ends, and Florida came up a little bit short, and Tennessee had the lead in the first half, 17 to 14. Then going into the second half of the game, Florida came back, you know, they're fighting back, but just kind of like Oklahoma, the issues that they had on themselves was part of the reason why they lost. Um, they had two missed two-point conversions 
as well as on one of the biggest plays which was a two-point conversion they just fell short compared to Tennessee's second game Richardson throws so this the gave the Wolves their first victory over Florida in six years Keep in mind, 38 to 33. So for our fifth down this week, which is our game to watch, I have Baylor versus Oklahoma State. And if you're into redemption games, revenge game, this is the game to watch. And I'm gonna tell you why, because it's just a game to watch. Just listen, okay? We're gonna start with right the right now. Oklahoma State is just doing really well. Their quarterback, Spencer Sanders, has 916 yards. Um, just in the past three games alone, only one t one interception and 10 touchdowns. And the Cowboys are averaging 49.7 points per game, which is second behind Michigan. Okay, okay, but but let's not let these stats steer you to not to thinking that you know Baylor is going to lose versus Oklahoma State. Okay, let's rewind to the Big 12 championship game, which is why. This revenge, this redemption game is just all, all here. Baylor won 21-16 when the Big 12 Championship, as you guys know. And the main reason was Baylor's defense. Baylor's defense is just so smart. That four-man rush don't get you every time. And Oklahoma State can tell you all about it, okay? Um, so they're just going to have to, the Cowboys are going to have to avoid that four-man rush. Make sure there's no picks. Make sure there's no drop passes, you feel me? That coverage, you know what I'm saying? So, if you're looking for a game to watch this weekend, let, let's go ahead and tune in at 2.30 to Baylor versus Oklahoma State. Y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's recap on college football from last week, week four. And I hope you guys enjoy all the games that are happening in week five of college football. Hope to see you guys soon.